All right, we're finding bait here with the new uh, Simrad NSC and NSS units, and you can see with the side scan, we got a school of bait off to our right, about 10 feet off the side of the boat. You see we just passed under it, and you can see we're starting to mark it with the sonar. Now I know it's off to my right, so instead of just going around in circles, I know exactly where that, that, that school of bait is. It's real thick in here, you can see it's starting to come over here on our left, and it's still under the boat. So in fresh water, we come back in these creeks in early spring, and we shut the motor off. We use the trolling motor to find this, this school of bait. It should only take a few minutes. And we'll start fishing. Yeah. Funny, it's all off to our right. Let's be on that, that, that bank must have gotten sun early or something. We are in an area where we found a lot of bait around. Same if you look at the screen. We got scattered schools around, but nothing real tight yet. So I put the trolling motor in and I'll control it over here. Autopilot right here. And we're just gonna drift through here. And maybe I'm a little cocky, I didn't put my, my rain bibs on. Hopefully I'll need more than a couple of minutes. off to our right. See off to our right, Tim? Yeah, see it all off to our right there? I'm waiting up. Not quite under, so I want that sonar on the left. I actually never marked any bait on the sonar. I just got it on the side structure scan. I only saw it on the structure scan, did not see it on the fish finder at all. Let's take a look at this. Nice. Never saw it on my regular sonar, only saw it on the side scan. I never would have known it was there. Pull it down and up. One throw and we're fishing. Thank you, Simrad. <laughs> got the bait tank real quick. All right, you can see we, we filled the bait tank here with some uh, some second year old gizzard shad. These aren't real big, you know, but about three and a half inches or so. Uh, but they're good for this time of year. We're gonna go right through the nose. And we're gonna put it out with one of the ready rig floats. Uh, I helped them design with the, the directional float. You can see it's got the fin in it. They have the green for starboard and they have the orange for port side. And it just has a fin in it. You've seen these before, so we put them out. You can see the orange one out there. You turn up. Orange one out there, and the green will pull way out to the side. All right, we got our spread out. We have three boards on each side. And uh, that is a ready rig. Directional float back there in orange. There's the other one in green. You can see how far apart they're staying, even though these are the rods. The rods are only eight feet apart, and those floats are, you know, easily 40 foot away from each other, the green and orange. And we have three boards on this side. We just caught a small fish on that backboard. So what we do is we take our baits and we're pulling in these creeks here and we're just staying close to the bank with our last board on the starboard side and over all the way on the port side. This one's out here in the creek channel. So we're covering from 30 feet of water all the way up to two feet of water when we get up on, the, on these points and everything in between. And that's what you do, you come back in these creeks uh, as the water warms up in spring, that's where the bait is and that's where the fish are. Keep pulling them in? Oh yeah. Keep pulling them? Oh yeah. On? Don't let the line hit the pump, you gotta drop the rod as you reel. That's it, now pull it. There you go. <laughs> All right, I can hold them. I'm a real man. 
<laughs> there you go. Yay! You're not a keeper, but you're cute. He is very attractive. Right. Ow, he's biting me. Deep six. Throw him? Yep. There you go. <laughs> That'll revive him all the time. Ah! Alright, well, that's a good way to start. A little one there. Good job, Billy. Let's Thank go. you. Let's go ahead that's and chuck him loose. There you go. Look at him go. Pretty. I just paused this here. I'm going to show you on the structure scan. That's a school of shad that we just split uh, off to the left side, off to the right side. And if you look over here with the shadows, these are smaller stripers. We're, pa we're passing over the open part of this bay right here. There's a point there. It's the mouth of a small feeder creek. And you can see we're right across the mouth of this bay where stripers are going to come in and out to feed. And right across there, the structure scan looks over into that mouth of the bay, and you can see there are small stripers, and you can see their shadows right there. There's, there's one fish came under the boat right there. Billy, run up front, bud, just to kind of reel that one in a little bit. You can take the clicker off if you want. You gotta heal, he's still taking line. Wow, that's a good fish you got there. That's a decent fish. There you go. Look at that. It's all the bait and clear. Look at that. Sorry, I'm a rookie. Yeah, he'll pull the he'll pull the fish to you, Bill. No. That's it. Nice, right. right. getting a little better now. Let's keep his eyes too. Put him right here, Billy. Getting better. Honey, take a picture of this one. Is he a keeper or no? Nope. Okay, I don't need it. Getting need better. <laughs> These are on the deep side board. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Fish on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quiet. All right, here's a good, here's a good uh, example. Coming across the mouth of a bay again. There's a point. There's a point there, and you can see off to our right, about 20 feet off to our right, marking several fish there. One fish there. A couple of schools of bait, and here you see a big school of bait with two larger marks in it. And we know that's off to our right, and it's right in this mouth of this bay right here. And there's some good marks right underneath us as well. And we're going to watch these boards out over here and hopefully these boards come across that right in that area. Oh, there, look at that. Right off. <laughs> chasing, chasing bait out there. Keep the rod up high. Tighten the drag up top a little bit. As you can see, we are still at the mouth of this bay, right where I said, and that fish hit. Right there, that fish hit. He's underneath that one, so I think you're okay, Tim. That was a starboard. Wow. Yeah, right, right off the right side, right off the right mouth of the bay. Cool, this hibernate thing I bought for fresh water. <laughs> He's a cutie. Live, it makes a difference a live bait, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Actual living bait. Yeah, that's one me and Billy just swapped out. All right. It's all big tail. Man, he took off like he was something, didn't he? Yeah, he did. It's going under. It's okay, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. You got a perfect spot. <laughs> 
out of bait <laughs> even though we had all that we we're almost out of bait that, so. like that bait was out there a while i was wondering if that bait was still alive i gotta have prom no nah, you're oh, doing I'm fine once you grab the net here bill okay, yeah. he didn't guide the line on oh i think he's gone hey that's Keep your head in the water, Billy. 